The long journey home, a World War II veteran's remains are finally coming back to Arkansas. After 77 years, Lieutenant Henry Donald Mitchell will be laid to rest this fall. Five News reporter Zoe Henry spoke with a Fort Smith man about finding his older brother. It's been more than 77 years since the Mitchell family was all together. After Bob Mitchell lost the rest of his loved ones, he began asking questions about his brother Henry's final flight. And I thought, man, I would really like to find out what happened to him. Mitchell set out on a tenacious journey. His first stop was then Congressman Asa Hutchinson in 1997, who gave him Lieutenant Henry Mitchell's military records, and his office began looking into the whereabouts of his brother's remains on his behalf. In the years following, the offices of Congressman Steve Womack and Senator John Boozman took over the search. It was one of 13 active missing airmen cases um, in Austria at the time. Um, so kind of at a, a, a dead end, not really a dead end there, but kind of at a, a point where everyone else had gotten to there, uh, started looking at some other options. Um. But with some help in 2017, they found Lieutenant Mitchell's remains on a game preserve in Austria. Well, the landowner died, and his son now owns the land. And we contacted him, and he said, well, uh, y'all can dig anywhere and whenever you want to, just don't, you can't do it during deer season. At almost 91, the wait for his older brother was almost over. And Bob finally got answers to what happened on July 8th, 1944. He was flying in formation with some other P-38s, and all of a sudden, uh, the flight commander <clears throat> didn't hear from him. And uh, apparently, from what they've said, there was some live World War II ammunition close to the, the uh, crash site, had not been exploded, so there was no fire on board. So apparently the plane was out of fuel. Lieutenant Mitchell's remains were sent to Nebraska, where his body now awaits a military burial at the Fayetteville National Cemetery. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Zoe Henry, 5 News. The wait is finally over. Bob says the tentative funeral date is set for September 1st.